Welcome back. Congratulations on completing week one. We're moving on to week two right now. We're going to be taking a look at Scrabble. So real quick, let's just go over this. This is actually a pretty simple one. Again, luckily, so I'll do my best to keep this short. So once we do the Scrabble here, we're basically pretty simply making a game of Scrabble. I'm not going to explain it a whole lot because it tells you what to do in here. I'm going to explain the how to. But what we're doing, like I said, making a game of Scrabble here, and we want to make sure that we're accounting for uppercase and lowercase, not counting for exclamation points and things like that. So let's get started. I've already unzipped the file here, and there's actually only a few things for us to do. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the scoring. So I'm going to start with this third portion here because the other ones are pretty much just like printf functions so they're very simple to do not something I'm gonna waste a lot of time with so let's get to the scoring what do we need to do to get that done we're gonna use a for loop right so we need a for loop to iterate through each letter uh, of the input one word at a time right so some sort of a plus plus function we also need a function that's going to check for is uppercase and then adds a certain number of points to the score. The number of points is determined by looking up the value in points, which the array is already listed. You'll see that array is right here. It's already been provided for you. Okay, so those are the number value of the letter in order of the letters of the alphabet. So that's how they did that. There might be a better way to do that. Might not. That's pretty simple, but it's not dynamic, right? So if the letters aren't in the right place, like for storing a list later on, probably not the best thing but for this it'll serve just fine next the code has to check if the letter is lowercase using the is lower function so we're gonna do that and the code will ask a certain number of points for that score just like we did in the is upper finally we're gonna return the total score for that word so what it's gonna do is calculate the score for a word based on the points assigned to each letter by adding up the points for each letter in that word in the array that we are gonna call points alright so that's what we're gonna do here so let's go ahead and get that started. So compute and return a score for string. So we want to start with score is what we're going to name it. And you're going to start off with zero, right? Zero. And now we're going to begin our for loop. So for int where i is equal to zero, i is less than the string length, right? of the word word then I plus plus keep counting up all right so we've got that let's go ahead and get into our first iteration here we're gonna do the is upper right so let's do the uppercase first so if is upper word I So this is going to check if the characters are uppercased. And remember, we were taught in the lecture about the ASCII values, right? So that's what we're going to take charge of here. And then minus 65 for uppercase, right? So that will take care of our uppercase. Let's take care of our lowercase. So if is lower word I and then score score we're gonna do the same thing that we did on is upper right except we're gonna change the ASCII value right so word I minus 97 in this case right And then we've already got our closing brackets. And once that is complete, what we are going to do is return the score. There we go. All right. So that is our entire points function. I kind of already explained what it did, so I didn't want to rehash it too much. But this is counting the value of the word if it's uppercase and if it's lowercase. Let's do a quick style thing here. Um, so the ASCII value of 65 and the ASCII value of 97 so this is where those characters fall on the ASCII value that comes from the lecture so hopefully you remember that if not post a question I'll answer it no worries let's fix this here 
and let's get into our printf functions. Remember that i++, that's just going back and going through. So this is the, the value for, this is the length of the word. We're going to check each letter one at a time until we run out of letters to check. So let's get back into our printf functions here because those are actually going to be really simple since they gave you everything else. So let's go to print the winner. All right, uh, that's just going to be if, so score one, right? Score one is greater than score two. And make sure you spell those right because those are declared right here, right? So you, you can't have any deviation on those. So if score one is greater than score two, then we're going to have a printf function, printf, and I believe, again, when it says something specific, don't deviate. So player one wins exclamation point backslash n for new line, right? End quote, end parentheses, semicolon. So that is the function for if player one wins or score one is higher, rather. So then we're going to move on uh, otherwise. So in computer code, it's else if, which later down the road will be l if, but that not a big deal else if score 2 is greater than score 1 then we're going to do our new printf so this is going to be printf player 2 wins and since I didn't see that let's go ahead and fix that to wins instead of wind because like I said it's going to be very specific player two wins backslash n close it close it close it so that's our printf for that finally we need a alternative right so we need our final which is you remember is if else if else right that gives us three so else the only other option we have here printf and it wanted to say tie just like that close it close it that should wrap it up for us let's go ahead and do what we always do go into Scrabble here first I'm gonna style it couple of spacing issues I'm gonna fix them there you're gonna see a cutscene real quick got the styling done so let's go ahead and make Scrabble and then dot slash scrabble and let's see computer science player one wins right computer science player one wins right scrabble winner o comma high okay so let's just run the check on this and there you go so everything works out as it is go ahead and get that submitted Make sure you go back and fix any styling issues. We already explained what the code does. It's a very simple one here, so we're going to keep moving on into week two. We're going to get that next video out so we can help you guys with that. Remember, it is totally free for you guys to click that like button, click subscribe, comment, share the video. All of those things are completely free to you, and they all help out the channel. I appreciate you guys' support. Other than that, we're all set here. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Thanks again.